Hello and welcome back to Thunkable. Good to see you. In this tutorial for iOS, we are going to create an artificial intelligence app that will allow you to take a picture and have the artificial intelligence of the app tell you what's inside the picture. A cup of coffee on a table. We're going to click on Create New App on iOS.thunkable.com and let's call this app AI for Artificial Intelligence and let's type in Camera. Mmm, Camera. Great. Create App and then click on, hey, look, it's me, the Thunkable Beaver. Go ahead and click on your project to open it up. Hello, good to see you. Mm. The first thing we want to do is change the color of the screen. So let's click on screen one in the visible components over Mia. And my favorite color is purple. So under background color, let's go to the color purple and we can adjust the color anywhere we want. I'm just going to pick my favorite color. Mm, there we go. Great. And we are going to add a few things now to the screen. So let's click add component over Mia. Mm. Well, the first thing we need is a button. Hello, our good friend, the button. I'm just going to drag and drop you right into the phone. We are going to click the button and it's going to call the camera to take a picture. But before we add in anything else, let's design the button a little bit. So click on button. And the first thing we can do is change the text. So let's have this say, take a picture. Take a picture. Hmm. Great. And we can also change the text color. Let's have it be black. Mm, great. Next, we can make the font bold. Very nice. And we can also change the background color of the button itself. So let's change it to yellow. Mm, nice. Purple, yellow, and black. Those are very nice colors. And finally, we are going to click on raised over Mia. This will make the button pop out a little bit. So it looks like it is popping out right from the screen. Great. Let's add a few more things to this app. So click on Add Component. Mm. Let's go into the Voice, Audio, and Artificial Intelligence section. When we take the picture and have the artificial intelligence tell us what is going on in the picture, it would be really cool if it also spoke to us out loud. So we are going to select Text to Speech and drop it right into the phone. Hmm, hello. It appears in the invisible components section over Mia. Yeah, great. And next, let's go into the image video artificial intelligence section. First, we are going to grab an image. This is where the picture will be displayed. And next, we want to get a camera component. Go ahead and drop that in. It should appear right here under invisible components. And finally, uh, the image recognizer. Let's drop that in too. So these are all the things you need. Oops, I forgot one. Let's go back to the user interface section. We need a label component. This is very important. Go ahead and put that in between the image and the button. Mm. So this is where our text is going to be displayed. And the last thing that we might want to do is make the image a little bigger. So click on image. And we are going to go into height over here. Let's make this 300. And width, let's make this 300. Great. So now the image will be displayed very nicely on your phone so you can see everything. Mm. Great. Well, that's actually all the things that we need. So now it's time to block it out. Everything with this app starts with a button click. So let's go to the block options for button. And let's select when button one, click do. Mm. Go ahead and drop this into the blocks editor. Next, we need to tell the button to call the camera and say, hey, camera, take, take a picture, please. So let's go to the camera options over Mia. And we are just going to grab this one right Mia and thunk that in. So when button one is clicked, call camera one to take a photo. And after we take our photo, this is where we want to tell the image recognizer to tell us what's going on in that photo. So let's go over here 
and select in image recognizer one called upload. Go ahead and funk that in. And it's going to ask you what image do you want the image recognizer to analyze? And we want just the picture that the camera took. So we can go right back over here yeah, to photo, just drag and drop this in. Great. So now we're going to click the button, it's going to call the camera, and then the image recognizer is going to turn on, and it's going to analyze the photo that we just took. Hmm, excellent work. And we have two more steps left. Well, we want the image recognizer to tell the label what it sees. So let's go into the block options for label. And we are going to select the option that says uh, set the label's text. So from label one, set text two. So let's click this and drop that in. Very nice. And what will the text be? Well, the image recognizer offers a very nice description over here. So let's just take a block and thunk it in. Hmm, fantastic work. So after the image recognizer tells the label what it should have in the text, we also want this description to be read out loud. So let's go to text-to-speech. And we are just going to get a text-to-speech call speak block. Go ahead. And we're just going to thunk that in right under the label text. And what should the text-to-speech say? Well, we just want to tell it to say whatever the text of the label is. So let's go into label over here and select from label one, get text. Just go ahead and thunk that in. Mm, very good. And for the last step, we need to tell the image to be whatever photo the camera just took. So let's go into the options for image. And the one that we want is going to say from image one, set picture two, which is this guy over here. Hello. And we are just going to thunk that in over here. Mm. And what picture do we want to display? We just want to display the photo that the camera took. So let's select photo and thunk that in. Hmm, fantastic. Your app is ready to go. So simply click live test and open up your thunkable app. And then you should have the app that you just created live on your phone. Fantastic work putting together that artificial intelligence app. See you next time and thanks for thunking.